Welcome back. Still in Moab, Utah. And I'm uh, packing up to leave the campsite. Now, I am not going to leave Moab right now. Right now, JJ is away for work. Uh, so it's just me, Waffles, and Steve Harvey. And I was thinking, what could I do while she's away that she would not want to do while she's here? And then it hit me. I'm going to spend the night at a Love's gas station. Loves. It is a family owned and operated truck stop. Uh, they're called country stores and they're all over the Midwest to uh, West Coast. Uh, Loves has quickly become my favorite uh, place to stop. I've said it here a bunch of times, so why not stay at a Loves? You can shower there, you can have full hookups. So the plan this weekend is to go to Canyonland or Arches and stay inside the park boondocking. I'm gonna build a fire and then just hang out. Uh, under the stars and the view of all of these canyons and mountains but before that uh, the country store is the stop i'm going to charge all my devices i'm going to hook up uh, fill up my water fill up my propane because it is going to be a cold weekend the low this weekend is going to be 23 degrees which we've had a moment of 23 degrees when we were in estes park so I think I fully know how to prepare. And since I'm not gonna have hookup, I'm not gonna need to insulate any external hoses or anything. Just make sure my water is full enough and my heating pad for the water tank can turn on. Guess who does not have a hose long enough? So I'm gonna have to unhook everything, back up, dump the tanks, clean up, and then pull off. all the toys here now i'm gonna go into town and get some supplies and then head to loves loves should be interesting also the challenge is i have groceries but let's see if i can eat all of my meals remaining meals from loves things i need to do is make sure my water tank is topped off like i said it is going to be 20 degrees this weekend when i am boondocking in uh, a national park. So I wanna make sure my water tanks have enough water in it to not freeze. Uh, one of the things is it's not gonna be below freezing temperature for an extended period of time. I think it should be below freezing maximum nine hours or in the range of below freezing for maximum nine hours. So uh, with that much water um, and the sun coming up and the temperature going back up to well above freezing, I should be good. We shall see. If not, then I'm gonna have to run the generator. Um, national parks and BLM land, I don't know if so, if BL, if I don't know if BLM land has it as much, but national parks do have quiet hours. So you can only run your generator between the hours of 8 a.m. and 10 a.m. And then again from 4 p.m. to 8 p.m. And then after that, you are either relying on solar, you don't want any power at all, or you just try to do everything between four and eight. Now I know we've had battery issues. You've watched the struggle. You watch me change those batteries, rewire some things. Hopefully we are at a place now where I can go off grid and we can go off grid for extended periods of time. I'm gonna spend four days off grid and really, really push it. Probably gonna have to shower in the RV more than I usually have. Having a good time without stressing about the whole thing is the name of the game. Also, I am so sorry for talking like a sitcom TV dad and saying the phrase name of the game. I don't know if I've ever. <sighs> Hold on to your butt waffles, we're taking off. Let's go get some love. After a nice little drive through some red rocks, I finally made it. I made it to where I am camping tonight. Diesel prices, unleaded prices. And look at that moon. 
full moon at Love's. It is not as glamorous as I thought it was. I don't know. I didn't think it was going to be glamorous. I just thought it was going to be different. And I, I can't even explain what I thought. I just thought it was going to be different. But I'm in like a dusty, and I don't mean dusty like I'm talking trash about this place, but it's literally dusty. I'm in a dusty, sandy, mountainous place um that is just only trucks and old campers and me uh there is one thing there is a camper set up beside me so when i booked this camp spot and you have to book a loves camp spot there was no one else here no one else was staying here so i booked the place on the furthest corner but closest to the loves because i was just like i'm gonna be running in and out i'm gonna want to use their bathroom and their shower and get food and stuff so i want to be closest to the actual loves and there was no one else here and I get here and all of the spots are empty except for the spot directly beside me and they have their slide out. I don't know what difference it makes. I don't think it makes a difference at all, but it kind of annoyed me that they were in the spot next to me. It's like when you pull up to the urinal and there's a bunch of urinals, you don't stand directly beside the person if there's other urinals open. Or like you and a coworker go out to lunch, you don't sit on the same side of the booth as them. Well, I feel like they saw someone, you see who else reserved a spot. So they knew I was in this spot. And now they're in my peripheral, just walking around their RV with all of the blinds open, which means my blinds are going to be closed because they're tall enough to see inside me. Wait, inside Steve. Wait, they're tall enough to see inside the RV. I don't know. I ain't like, it's not like I'm going to be walking around this parking lot naked or something, but you don't know. This is my site. RV parking only. Those are my hookups. But first, I'm gonna check in. And to check in, you go to this kiosk. Honestly, it's just, you read these instructions, welcome to Love's. I actually checked in on my phone, so I guess we're good. Let's see. Yeah. That was pretty easy. I'm gonna hook up the power and then I'm gonna go inside, check out the, the offerings at Love's, buy something that I don't need, even though I'm supposed to be budgeting because technically I don't have a job. Countdown to how many days I have left right there. I wanted to connect to the power without the surge protector. We have an internal surge protector and I don't know if it limits how much juice is going into the RV, but because I'm boondocking, I wanna get straight power from the source. No double surge protecting, because I wanna make sure that both of those AGM batteries are charging to capacity. So when I am in the middle of nowhere, I am good to go. And I start back at one. Okay, I'm here to make bad decisions pretty much because I kind of want to one of these, which doesn't seem that bad. More official, anything that's gluten needed, gluten that free, pretty much can just get this and vitamins and, and all of the things in here or a drinkable yogurt. I seriously think I might get these ready to eat oats which seem pretty good and a lot of vegan options in them. But I also have to get one of these, right? Vanilla birthday cake, homemade goodness. It's just like a little square. But like, I also have to get one birthday, one carrot cake. I don't have to, I'm not going to. I am gonna get the birthday cake. Ugh. Now I said that I was gonna eat all my meals here and I think I'm not. I think I'm just gonna do dessert got it two easy items nothing crazy breakfast for tomorrow and dessert for tonight it feels like i did pretty good should be interesting to see how this night goes i'm gonna probably try to watch a movie make sure everything's charged so i gotta plug everything in tonight uh so let's go do that i take fish oil every morning i managed to keep one in my pocket i don't know i just didn't take it that day and sure enough uh, didn't realize it was still in the pocket, washed the shirt, dried the shirt, got it back, 
realized it smelled like fish when I put it on. Still did not check the little chest, the little Carhartt chest pocket. So I put it back in the laundry and was like, damn, I'm gonna wash that fish smell out. Washed it again, dried it again, and then realized the smell got worse. And I reached in that pocket and the second time the dryer had gotten so hot that it just melted the fish oil to the inside of my shirt. So if you know, you get oil on a shirt, you have an oil stain for, I don't know, until you can properly treat it. So having an oil stain that is also fish, that sh shirt smells wild, caught salmon. And then I have a pair of my favorite fuzzy warm pants that smell the same way. And I'm going somewhere where it's gonna be super dumb cold and I might wanna sleep in them. So I'm gonna have to wash them. I'm gonna have to wash them. I'm gonna just throw them in the washer either tonight or tomorrow. Loves is 24 hours. I'm gonna see how I feel. I'm gonna get into some comfortable clothes make sure waff dogs got some food and water and then uh, maybe hit dessert maybe hit an eatable maybe try to watch a movie who knows where the hell you come from were you up there the whole time yeah my guy wants some fresh ones all right <clears throat> I managed to move the cat food and then spill cat food all under the driver's side and passenger side. And there's a gap in between the seats that go down to kind of the body of the RV. And I just had to spend the last 15, 20 minutes either trying to vacuum and then the pieces that couldn't get vacuumed, I had pliers and like the game operation, I'm going in between the seat and the body of the van trying to pluck the pieces out. And it, it, I got a lot of pieces, but there's still some down there and that's gonna haunt me. And I don't know why, vacuum can't get it. I don't know, like this is one of those moments I wish I can just like get him to put his paw in there and like fish them out. Cause I know he could, he's a sneaky little snake. Don't be shy. Show the people. This is a good sign too. JJ's away and he's out. Soon as soon as we parked, he came out. And now he's being nosy. I left these front windows open so he can like sit in the driver's seat and kind of look out the side windows. So we're not like in a traditional campsite. We are at a gas station. So I want to see what's happening and just be able to like peek with my peeking ass. All right, so last on my list of things to do is get firewood, get propane, charge all of my things and edit video. So I might crack into a dessert, watch some TV, edit some video, make sure all the devices are charged and then I will see you in the morning. Good morning, live from Love's. Stay in the parking lot of this Love's and honestly, I'm just staying at a rest stop. I'm a designated parking spot at a rest stop. I don't know what I thought this was gonna be, but this is, was pretty much just that. There's a train that goes by the back half of the RV. And I mean like one of those long trains with the, with the, 79 cars that go miles and miles back the trucks are pretty separate but they still come in and then someone <clears throat> excuse me wow someone with one of those really cool cars that go rrr, 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 rrr. um because this is a small road that probably is empty at night was just like i can open the car up and i i mean i don't i don't hate them for doing that like if you got the space to do it shoot your shot v but insulation in here is minimal because they want to save on weight and uh, I can hear all of it. So it was fine. I put earplugs in eventually. Now, Loves has a few things that I want to test out before I actually leave this spot. I got to figure out what time I have to check out, but checking out just means I'm going to move to the other side of the parking lot if I just can't be here in this space. I'm going to go in here and see if I can do laundry, probably take a shower. I don't need to buy anything for breakfast and I don't need coffee, but I'm going to poke around anyway. Watch it. 
gonna fill up some water. I have two thirds tank full of water. It's a 31 gallon tank. So I'm gonna add uh, a lot more gallons because the temperatures look like I'm gonna be battling maybe 20s. Um, it might even get down to the teens, which I might have to actually leave my camp spot and come to lower elevation so that uh, something doesn't happen. I don't know what would happen, but I wanna make sure nothing happens. And I also gotta get some antifreeze uh, for the tanks, but like not to come through the actual pipes, but to like put in the actual holding tank. So my black tank and my gray tank, I wanna put antifreeze in so that those tanks don't seize up. Not bad. Wasn't on E, but $66, I'll take it. The world is big, but the comedy community is strong. Uh, just randomly ran into the homie Mike out here. Yeah. Who's also gonna be in a van and has been camping in Canyon Lake. My van's not as nice, it's all sketchy. It got spray painted in New York City, so now. I mean, it's gotten its stripes in New York City. Yeah, but people look at me funny when I pull up. <laughs> you have to get out and be like, hi, but you have to be nice. All right, so on our way to get something to eat, just met up with my boy Mike, Mike Rowland, very funny comic, and one third of one of my favorite comedy houses of all time. And I don't, it's not like a comedy club, it's just a, a Comics who are roommates. Mike lives with comedians and uh, they're all very funny. They're all very nice. They're all very cool. It's cool running into him out here. Uh, I actually just ran into him yesterday when I was leaving the grocery store. Uh, I came back in. I just ran back in really quick to use the restroom. And when I came back out, I saw him in the aisle, the exact aisle that I came out in. It was just like, oh, shit. so we planned on going mountain biking, which hella aggressive uh mountain biking is something you got to start early for prep the night before uh i was eating eatables watching john wick for there was no way that i was gonna get up he was up late also in the mountains and didn't have the proper gear so he was just like battling the cold all night trying to figure out how to stay warm so now we're just gonna hang out in town which my kind of thing you know what i mean we're just gonna go around, we're gonna get something to eat, we're gonna hit some of these shops in Moab, see what Moab really has in its downtown area, uh, something we haven't done. Also something uh, JJ wouldn't immediately be into. Uh, she would, I'm, we, I don't know, this is the reverse, you know what I mean? So I'm the one who wants to like shop and like go into stores, and JJ is the one who wants to go on hikes and um, be in the woods. Now, I don't mind being in the woods, but I'm gonna be a, I'm gonna be a little bit of a baby about it. Like if it's too many bugs, I'm like, oh, really? I'm gonna be that, I'm going you know how there's always someone who shows up to the basketball court and then you know they can't hoop because they show up in too many clothes and like the clothes match. I'm that guy for camping. Like I'm gonna show up with all of the gear, every piece of gear you possibly can have, bug nets, I'm just gonna be overkill. And uh, people aren't gonna trust me. And I, that's fine, that's fine. I'm fine with that. I might be top five RV parker. I don't know if there's an RV parking competition, but I would join that competition and I would challenge someone to parallel park or street park a 25 foot RV. Now, it's a whole nother beast when you have a tow vehicle. And since we don't have one, I can pretty much whip it. Not to mention the front of the RV is just a van. So it's not like I'm doing something special. I'm gonna pretend like I am and I'm a beast. It's 
sitting on the streets. I mean, not on the streets, but sitting outside. Uh, I got a garage burrito, which is just egg, salsa, and tater tots. Added avocado to it. Gonna go to the museum. Gonna get some of this Moab, Moab art. Some Moab history. Moab history. Uh, got some pretty cool things in there. I don't know what the policy on recording is, so I'm not bringing this, but we'll give you the full rundown of what the museum is like afterwards. All right, food Talks truck. About the Thai food around here, like it's amazing. You heard that conversation in the museum too. Yeah, but I, I mean, even the taxi driver was saying that too. The only thing that threw me off was like, he was like, I really like Thai food. And then he said Crab Rangoon. And I was like, that's not, that's that, not Thai food. Well, that's funny because I don't eat Thai food because I'm allergic to it. But I heard Crab Rangoon and I was like, I think I got to stop that. <laughs> we had opposite. Yeah. <laughs> Being outside in New York, if, if a place is like, you know, we got shawarma, we got falafel, I'm like, uh, Do you? I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Is there a guy back there slicing it off right now? Well, I remember Donald. I was in D.C. and I got some, and it was, I hate to say it, it was, it was drunk. Listen, as and someone was, who grew up in D.C., and I, that's not what we do. No. That's not what we do. Now, and Ethiopian they, food. You wouldn't really? have Ethiopian food. Big Ethiopian population in D.C. All right, I'm probably just going to get a... A hot dog. That's exactly what I was gonna yeah. probably end up eating tonight anyway. How are those elk sausages? I haven't opened them yet. Oh, really? That's for the park. Oh. I'm gonna crack them open and uh, uh, I looked. There is a fire pit with a grill top. Oh yeah. I'm yeah. gonna just I'm gonna just yeah. grill some elk sausages out there. Oh yeah. I'm gonna try it. I feel like I gotta. Tr you gotta try that. Try Where else can you get this from? Try. You, you ever see this? Yeah. A waffle dog. Waffle, cream cheese, butter quarter pounder. I think I'm gonna have to do one without cream cheese. How are you, sir? <laughs> Can I do a uh, waffle hot dog and then another waffle hot dog? So the waffle hot dog just came out. This is crazy. I'm gonna have a heart attack. I'm not gonna lie. That looks delicious, but also I'm, I'm kind. I'm Look kind, at all the butter I'm underneath. I'm kind of glad. Look I didn't at all the butter. <laughs> I would die. Should I throw maple syrup? What do you got? You gotta do throw. You this? gotta throw some syrup on there. Let you can't try. throw mustard. No, I mean you could try. You can't. You could try. I don't want. I don't, this doesn't feel <laughs> mustard. Doesn't feel spiritually correct at all. This shit is huge. Oh, going for it with the whole wrap. This thing isn't even. Yeah, you don't. You don't. You can't cut it. Dog first. Good dog. Good dog. Mm -hmm. It's wrapped in bacon. There's butter. There's waffle. There's cream cheese. Okay, here we go. I mean, yeah. Yeah. It works. It's definitely all those ingredients. <laughs> <laughs> But I do think it needs maple syrup. It needs like a sweetness. That's that's absolutely. You should do that. I'm gonna do it. And this is the hell the crispy king. Jesus. Pickles, chips, cheese. I don't even know. Bro, this is hitting with the syrup. Put syrup it's on crazy. there. That thing is wild. Hello. Hello. Do you have a reservation today, sir? I do. At um, Devil's Campground. If I could see that real quick first, please.
site 42. And I'm just going to pull in on the back end. Weather is about 65 degrees right now. Uh, um, aside from like foot traffic from other campers, we are way back here in Arches National Park. We're in the back, back, back of the back. So it's just campers here and it's pretty open, pretty chill. Right now it's just like voices of people walking by, but it's also really quiet. Headed to the camp host to get my firewood. I got two bundles. I'm gonna set it aside, split a little bit of it with the hatchet. First time using a hatchet, which is gonna be fun. And then um, set up for lunch, get the firewood ready because I'm gonna use it for dinner. And then I think I'm just gonna relax. These are not made for short people to get wood out of. <laughs> <laughs> It's raining. It's raining and the temperature is gonna drop. Uh, if this rain slows down, I'm still gonna start a fire and make dinner on the fire. Tonight on the menu for fire dinner is, went to a butcher shop with the homie Mike Rowland, and I got these. Elk sausages. They're elk bratwurst, which I thought would be fun because I saw a ton of elk and um, it makes me a monster, but I wanted to try it, right? Like hanging out and like amazed by how majestic they look and how cool they are and like they were all over Colorado and then I get to Utah and I'm like I'm gonna eat one of them bad boys but I think it'll be fun to roast these over a fire put them in a tortilla just hang out I got everything I'm just gonna probably just throw it on the plate all of it together and then just carry it outside. I'm gonna put this in my pocket and I'm also gonna put this in my pocket. My little bundle of joy, my little fire starter with a wax wick that I can just put under there just because it is a bit damp outside after that rain. I present to you ugly elk dogs. Blaze them up in a fire. One is spicy mustard and hot sauce and the other one is kimchi. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing out here. I'm, I was gonna say I'm roughing it, but that's a lie. I got a whole satellite dish with internet outside. Um, I'm just, you know, I'm out here just doing, just doing me. I'm a, I'm, I'm really good on the grill, honestly. I'm pretty good. I'm, I'm pretty good on a grill. Uh, but I should have prepped better and waited before it got dark, but it was raining. So there was nothing, I got, nothing. So there was nothing I can do. I'm going outside. I'm going to eat these ugly elk dogs, a couple of these Cheetos, and then see what my movies look like as far as their download speed. 
All right, so ratings on the elk dog, gamey. They mixed it with pork, but it's still a very gamey browwurst. Good. Um, actually, a decent char on it from the fire. Would I get them again? Probably not. Um, I mean, that's like a one-time thing. You come out, why is that shadow so bad? You come out, you come, you come out here in the middle of nowhere. I keep saying the middle of nowhere. You come out here to Arches, to a campsite that is boondocking, um, and your neighbors aren't close, but pretty close, and you grill some meat on an open fire. Uh, it was what it was. I washed dishes in the communal sink because I didn't want to run water tonight. Just to see. I don't know what I'm going to do about this cold weather. I'll figure it out tomorrow during the day. But wash dishes in the communal sink. Use the bathroom. They have pretty nice bathrooms and they're heated, which fire. I downloaded a couple of movies, which these are movies that I bought years and years and years ago. And I don't remember why. Was it a joke why I bought it, or was it something I seriously wanted to watch? But the options are Above the Rim, Dark Knight, Bangkok Dangerous? I don't even know what that's about. Taken, particular set of skills, and Nick and Nora's Infinite Playlist. And I don't know why I have that, but I have these four movies, and I've downloaded five movies, and I've downloaded. Don't know where this is gonna leave off, but just in case, this is the end. <laughs> And I'll pick back up the next episode. Thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in. I super appreciate everybody who watches this, especially if you watched it this far to the end. Uh, please come back. Please like and subscribe. Please tell a friend. If not, I still thank you for enjoying it in this moment.